Hello, this is Victor at RestoreYourMercedes.com. This video is for John in Pennsylvania. Okay, John, so I'll just make a video of your parts here uh, real quick before I mail them back to you. So, now this is your harness 500 SEL. I believe it's a 92 model. And this is the lower harness. So, the harness is done. The wires were really bad, but I tried to, con you know, to keep it as original as I could connector here you put it on and spin it to um, to um, lock in place um, there the wires are stiffer a little bit but because it's cold but you'll be able to move them around to where they have to be so this is your starter cable this is also quite stiff because I use a little thicker one for the starter itself for the Bendix here's a little clippy here when you put the starter back in you can feed the cover over and then the wire can go into this little clip right there and into the Bendix now this area was open so I wrapped it this is double wrap now if you need to move some wires around you can cut this tape over you can move the front portion against the uh, main main covering here but it shouldn't be needed because there is a little bit of room there to connect these sensors now this is these um, oil level sensor obviously but um, the covering is rubber so it broke they're not made anymore so I just siliconed it around not critical because it's still gonna be pretty much subjected to water but this is a very basic sensor this doesn't make doesn't make a difference new plug here on the oil pressure sensor the alternator activation and the obviously alternator um, itself now these wires are differently insulated this one and the main starter cable which is this huge one right here and they they pass along in separate loom here so not an issue here so this harness is pretty much finished it's ready to go so let me show you your throttle body now and put it aside <coughs> uh, your throttle body here so as I as I made up in previous video the comment in previous video that it was a little tight and a little dirty and whatnot so here it is um, linkage is very light now I can move it basically as you can see just by by friction of my finger here and my little activation device quote unquote is moving just fine as you saw in previous video it was getting stuck at the end so now this is freed up so this is good news let me show you the temperature so you know that the unit has been energized for quite quite a little bit see it's pushing over a hundred degrees that just tells you that the unit has been working a long time on the bench and it's been about three days on the bench so i can say that most likely coils are fine uh, th these are cold units the ambient room temperature as you can see around 73 so 73 degrees and yours is over a hundred takes time to actually heat it up to this temperature and internals are very hot now so that's good it's a good test that's the best i can do the um <clears throat> there is a little bit of oxidation of course remaining uh, a little bit of staining here and there but you know it works in a very harsh environment with fuel and, and moisture and condensation so you can expect that from unit that's been built that had been built in 1992 so this is the underside of the unit underside is nice and I also left the um, the clip here um, the reason being is this is exactly how you want to orient it uh, the clip has to be oriented sideways a little bit just like that so like this a little bit so these ends they're supposed to face toward the small small cover if you're gonna face them down you 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 risk in the hitting the uh, one of the intake runners so you want to have them away so when you put new holes on make sure these are oriented upwards that's why I left them in terms of the wires these wires don't fail on these units it's an extremely rare case I already tried to twist and bend them and whatnot and the unit never shut down <clears throat> so everything is fine with wires I don't have a problem with the cables themselves the loom no need to replace it because uh, 92 93 only V8s they are fine other units are different story but V8s uh, they have old style cables still for the old units and um 
let's look up at readings now the actual values rather <clears throat> so the actual value readings are pretty much on point um, pretty much where all of them end up being with this particular control module so yours readings would be different but my readings with this module um, they're slightly different because this is the only controller that lets me test the throttle with wide open uh, wide open mode you know just like completely open 90 degree plate but um, in S classes when you try to accelerate when engine is not running throttle will open about this much the rest of the linkage will be pretty much not activating that's the over ref protection that's normal different control modules act differently so let me show you the readout for the um, voltages and whatnot so this is basically where they all end up with this controller uh, you open the throttle all the way now we have <clears throat> a readings of course change so as you can see voltages did change so if I move the linkage voltages will also follow and that's what we need you see voltages takes a little bit there's a little bit of a delay with readings to come up so as you can see readings do change so we're okay in this department now micro switch situations don't worry about those they jump around that's always been like that it's something with software when I go to the um, I go to idle we got on off once I move off the idle they will switch over to off on as you can see but on V8s for some reason I don't know why but they just don't register it's just I guess they're not in play for V8 model this controller is from six cylinders so it's different but that's good enough for me this is this is what I want it to be so there was a little bit work involved with the unit here. I mean, obviously I cleaned up the small case underneath there. There was some carbon dust, uh, lubricated gears. Um, uh, good news is that the plate is not out of alignment, which is kind of pretty cool actually, because they always get off the alignment. This plate has been on the bench for so long and it's still within the range, which is nice because uh, sometimes I have to realign the actual butterfly but other than that, I mean, this is pretty good. I mean, I'm pretty happy. In terms of the wear and tear internally, it's been running a little on the hot side, but again, given the age, maybe the fan clutch failed one, one, at some point or whatever. But um, nothing is breaking, nothing is crumbling. There is no rust inside at all. So that means that it's probably been garaged or something. And um, potentiometer wear, it's getting there, but it still has lots of life left in it. So, um, you'll be just fine. I don't, you know, I don't have problems with this. As you can see, activates quick. When it's cold, it activates actually slower, but that's normal because by the time everything warms up, heats up, but this unit should be fine. And besides, you never had any really issues with it. So this is just a quick service to prolong its life. In other words, so that's the dirtier it gets uh, more chances of failure obviously plus the residue from carbon deposits that also can play a role in misreadings so this is where we are so harness is good throttle is good so basically good to go before I mail the harness actually what I will do right now is once I will put this video to upload on YouTube I'm going to um, double check the pins although i did one wire at the time regardless but i'll just double check the pins on the wires based on my schematic diagrams but 99.99 percent .99 is gonna be just fine because i did one wire at the time i never had any doubts but i always double check just in case okay so this is all man so i'll give you a call or i'll send you this link so you watch the video and you can call me right after we do the finances and um, I'll pack them up uh, and mail them back out to you. All right, so this is all for me. This is Victor at historiamercedes.com. Thank you for watching.